What's going on YouTube? Today we're taking a look at the best way to unlock your door, whether that's at your home, whether that's at your office, or maybe you got a little Airbnb thing going on the side. Being able to send a one-time passcode or an expiring pin code is the best way to do it. This is from a company called Lockly and it's the Secure Pro Latch Edition. They also just have a deadbolt if that's what you need. But this is the best way to unlock your door and you can do it multiple, multiple ways, either with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, use your Google Assistant, or your Amazon Alexa Assistant to unlock your door. And it's the most secure way as well because you do have a pin code on the front. There's also that fail safe with the key if you need to unlock it using the key. But the battery will last about a year. And you can also use your fingerprint which is the coolest way to unlock your door. You do it for your phone so why not for your home as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Secure Pro from Lockley and see what it's all about. This is the Lockley Secure Pro and you have so many different ways to unlock your door guys. Once again, you can unlock with Bluetooth, unlock with Wi-Fi, so if you're remote and you need to give access to someone, you can just open up the application, click on that unlock button, and it's going to unlock your door for you. But there's also a pin code, you can also give one-time passwords, you can give expiring pin codes as well. And there's also an offline mode, so if Wi-Fi goes out and you have some guests, or you have some, some workers, if you got a plumber that needs to come into your home or whatnot, you can always send them a one-time passcode, so this is definitely the best way to do it. With full logs as well, you'll always be able to see who opened and who locked your door. But also guys, what I really like about the smart lock is, I always don't remember if I locked the door, so I always have to run back to double check. With the Lockly Secure Pro, it's going to automatically lock after a couple minutes. That's something that you can set up in the app. But let's just go ahead and install it, then we're going to take a look at the app together. What I like about the Lockly team is they give you step-by-step -step instructions and everything is very simple, guys. So just take your time with it and you'll be able to install this in no time. And here's the installation guide. Now, usually you know I throw these booklets away, but you definitely need this when you're installing the lock. And these are the tools you're going to need, so you don't need a lot of tools. Again, if you know how to use a screwdriver, you're going to be just fine. And after 12 steps, you're going to have everything set up, and this is going to be the best lock that you've ever installed. Now again, take your time with it. There's no rush. Go ahead and do it perfectly the first time, and you're going to be very, very happy with the Lockly Secure Pro. Here's your user manual as well. You also have a nice little pamphlet you can leave on your door. Again, perfect for that Airbnb situation. If you need to provide an offline access code just in case the Wi-Fi goes out, you don't need your guests stranded in front of your, your apartment or your house, this is a great way to just leave it on your door and they'll be able to figure it out very, very quickly. This is everything that you get in the box. Obviously, it's a full latch system, it's a full door, and the number one thing I noticed is just how sturdy, just how heavy the actual lock is itself. So this is definitely a high quality lock. And again, you'll always have a physical key that you can go in and unlock your door. You always have that backup, and that's super important when trying to get into your office or your home. But the quality is definitely on point. I'm super impressed so far. And they give you everything that you need. Before we go ahead and install it, there are a couple different colors that you can choose from and you can have it match your door perfectly fine. Now, once again, this is the latch edition. But if you don't need a handle, you can go ahead and just get the deadbolt edition, and this handle can switch to the other side if you need to. But this is the pin code, and once it's all set up, I'll go ahead and show that to you guys. But I just wanted to show you what it actually looks like. It's a very well-made latch. Here's a little fingerprint scanner right on the side there. So again, as you open your door, you can just go ahead and scan your finger. That's the best way to open the door in my opinion, but let's go ahead and install it. Then we're going to check the app and check out all the features together.
the installation process, thanks to that step-by-step -step guide, took me about half an hour, which definitely is not bad. Might take you a little bit less, might take you a little bit more, but just follow those instructions because they are detailed to the letter. They give you very precise instructions and they're really easy to follow as well. Now just taking a look at the application itself, again, everything can be done from this application. And you can even unlock your door using your Google Assistant or your Amazon Alexa. But taking a look at the Lockly app, you have a nice little, nice little ring in the middle where you can either lock or unlock your door just by tapping on that button. Now right now, I am doing it over Wi-Fi, and if you are close enough, you can go ahead and do it from, from a Bluetooth connection. So again, multiple ways to lock or unlock your door. So let me just show you that again. I'm going to press unlock, and it's going to unlock my door right away. Now on the top, you do have a couple options. You can go ahead and switch the Bluetooth if you wanted to. Again, if you're close enough, you can switch that Bluetooth connection. And you see your battery level right on the top here. So I'm at about 90% battery level. Now going on to the bottom, you can see your log. So you can see every single time the door was unlocked or locked. So right now, I unlocked it by mobile. So you can see who unlocked it as well. You can see your name right under there. And thanks to that auto lock feature as well, it automatically locked so you don't have to don't have to lock your door when you leave. It's going to do it for you. It also shows you if you unlocked it by fingerprint. You can see right there, Jabber unlocked by fingerprint. So again, you get a complete log and you can see every time your door was open or un unopened. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the ways you can give access to your office or to your home. Clicking on add new user, you have a couple options here. So you can add a trusted user, which is going to give them full access until you revoke it. You also have a way that you can just give guest access. So again, perfect for that Airbnb situation. And you can leave a message so you can send them the code and say welcome to your new Airbnb for the next couple of days. And there's a one-time access code as well, which is perfect if you have anyone visiting or anyone doing work that you only want them to get access for one time. So again, this is great, especially if you're in an apartment, maybe the super has to come in and do some work. You can just give them an access code that's going to expire. And I think that's a great way to control access to your to your apartment or to your office. Next option that we have is an e-badge. And this is a little bit different because you have a validity period. You also have a recurring option as well. So if you want to give someone access, say, for a week, again, maybe Airbnb or maybe you just have someone visiting your home, a loved one, a guest, a cousin, whatever the case is, you can set up access from a specific date to a specific date. So again, this is perfect. Again, if you have visitors, that's a great way to do it. You also have recurring. So if you know someone's always going to come in on a Tuesday, you can go ahead and set up that period. Maybe again, if you have someone looking after your pets while you're at work, always on a Tuesday, you can set up can set up the option for them to unlock your door from 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock. Again, you can set this up and set it up each and every way that you want. There's also an offline access code, guys. So again, you might want to set this up just in case Wi-Fi goes out. This is just a great way to ensure that whoever needs to get access to your home will always be able to get access thanks to that offline access code. But the best way, guys, is by fingerprint. That's what it's all about. I unlock my phone, so why can't I unlock my door? Well, now I can, thanks to the Lockly Secure Pro. And you can set up different fingerprints, not just your own. So again, this is the best way to, to kind of unlock your door for yourself, in my opinion. Makes it really, really simple to just walk up to your door and unlock your door with your fingerprint. Now going into settings, guys, is really not all that much that I want to show you in settings. But I just want to show you a couple things here. There's your change access code. So if you want to change your pin code, you can go ahead and do so. Random mode is going to randomize all the numbers that's showing on the Lockly display there. Again, if you don't want someone looking over your shoulder, you can go ahead and set that to random so they're never really going to know which buttons that you've pressed. Now, auto timer is the best. I really like this auto lock timer. I set mine up for five minutes, but you can set it up any which way that you want. Again, when you leave your apartment, leave your house, it's going to automatically lock your door. I definitely like that myself. The next thing I want to show you is touchscreen locking. So if you don't have it set up to automatically lock your door, if you set up touchscreen locking, all you have to do, guys, is tap on that touchscreen and it's going to lock the door for you. And that's what I really like about it. Again, very, very easy. Everything is customizable, even the firmware update. So if you got a firmware update, it's going to let you know. That's it when it comes to the settings. Not only is the Lockly Secure Pro very easy to install, but the application is very, very easy to navigate through. It's super easy to give access to whomever you want to give access. And that's what it's all about when you have a lock. You want it to be easy to enter or exit your abode, and the Lockley Secure Pro is the best way to do it. I really appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in another video.